Hey guys, um, basically I am a huge letdown. <laughs> um, I couldn't smash my watch. I just, I couldn't. Uh, the day I was meant to do it, I had a massive argument with my mum, so I felt like shit. I don't know what. I don't know if it's panic or I don't know blood pressure or something. I don't know. Um, but I felt like rubbish for about three hours. Really hot. Couldn't calm down. Chest tight. All that kind of stuff. So. I couldn't do it on Wednesday, and I just don't feel like I can do it yet. And now I now I feel guilty about that, and I have huge, feel huge pressure on me about that because I made such a big deal about smashing it, and I don't feel like I can. Um, especially my therapy woman, she's going to be just as usual now, annoying, and just be like, "Well, you know, you should have smashed it, so why didn't you?" Blah 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 blah. Um, so yeah, I. I I know smashing it makes sense, and I know that I'm not really going to move forward as long as I'm still checking my heart, because I'm always going to want to know what my heartbeat is, therefore I'm always going to be checking it, and um, never going to be free of it, but I just don't feel like I could cope. I mean, I had a panic attack last night, um, because I was hot and arguing with Ellie, and my heart went to 170. So that was a bad one. That's probably the third really bad one I've had. Um, but the other thing I've got to keep reminding myself is when I look at my watch, my watch tells me what my heartbeat is there and then. So it's, it's doing per minute, but in a second. So I, I put my finger on it, wait a few seconds, it registers my heartbeat. That's what that heartbeat's doing at that second that it's registered, picked it up. Not a minute, because I'm not measuring it for a minute. So when my heartbeat goes to 170, it's not at 170 for a minute, it's at 170 for a second, and then within that, and within that minute, I'm probably back down to 130. Um, I suppose that's how I know it's a panic attack and nothing else, because if it was a heart attack, I assume my heart would be racing high at 170 for a long period until I felt some pain. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I'll start panicking. Um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to apologise to everyone. Um, you'll probably all come back. With, with, with uh, me, you were saying there's no need to apologise and don't put pressure on yourself and that, but I do, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna do another video after this uh, with a few things I want to do. Uh, this is from Brunette Barbie 21, I think it's 21. Um, she put up a list of tasks she want to do daily, so I'm doing the same kind of thing, but I mean, mine are a bit piss poor to be fair. Um, and yeah, um, I don't know what else to say really. I might do another uh, another video I'm looking at doing would be a list. I would um, record me listing all my symptoms that I have, and then I would listen to the video again, and then write and then do a vi answer video to my own video with rational explanation for all the symptoms. And then I thought they would be two good things to balance out. And then I could I could cut away the ones that I feel are ones I don't have an explanation for. And then either I could go to the doctor and tell him about these symptoms if they're new or he hasn't been told about them. Or um, work on finding a reason for them. I don't know if that's going to help or make me worse. Um, if you can give your thoughts on that. I'll, I would If I'm going to do that, it would be after the next video about what I want to um, do daily. Um, basically the argument I had with my mum was just, I, I think I mentioned it before but I'll just go over it again, it's just things like um, I, she, she said to me that when I explained all the symptoms to her, which I've already explained to her um, I, and I thought she understood that I could just if she felt like that she'd be going down the doctors every other day and she'd be phoning to get appointments all the time and and that pissed me off because I'm trying to say that there's no point me going to the doctor with the same list of symptoms every time because he's addressed all the symptoms and told me what he thinks of them so he'd just tell me the same thing and I'd piss off my surgery and my surgery are really nice and I haven't been there long so I don't really want to be known as a problem patient um, and I just half of me believes this is in my head and half of me believes it's something physical because of how rotten I feel but the other rational half of me believes that I've had a blood test 
If anything seriously wrong, it'd come up on a blood test, or they wouldn't use the blood test as a thing. Um, and I've lost four stone, so I should be reveling in the fact that I'm, I'm obviously a lot healthier. Um, I just don't feel it, and I just wish I could feel I could wake up one day and feel happy and energetic again. And I don't know why I can't. And I don't. I know people are suggesting medications, and it's great. It's worked for you, but I just don't feel like. I want to rely on medication because I think that the way it's been proven with like my watch and <clears throat> the difference when I'm with people to when I'm alone, that I'll, I think I'll become quite heavily dependent on the medication and I'm scared about doing that. So ideally I want to beat this on my own. I don't know if I've got a strong enough mind but I don't know. Anyway, uh, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Just watching. Bye.